So let us solve this problem or any equation again. The, I have collected some more problems. Ye activation energy of a reaction. This reaction is there. So A is converting to B is 180 kilojoule per mole. So here, uh, by what factor the rate will uh, increase if the temperature is increased from 27 degree centigrade to 37 degree centigrade? So here temperature, lower temperature, higher temperature. So again, we'll use this logarithm equations. And activation in, in, uh, energy is uh, how much that is, is also given 180 kilojoule per mole. So here, right here. So first is uh, logarithm of k2 by k1 is equal to so e divided by 2.303 r and here 1 by lower temperature minus 1 by higher temperature. Just put this all value. So if you putting all value, you will get here. So this is uh, E is given here 180 into 10 to the power 3. So here 2.303 into R value is 8.314. So again temperature is 100, uh, 300 minus 310. So on solving you will get here what value? So that is 1.01. .01. So definitely uh, K2 by K1 will be equal to so our uh, this uh, factor will be so factor will be how much increase it is 10 times so answer is 10 times so this is our basically answers so, an alga performs a constant number of heart beats and then dies the alga lives twice as many days at 7 degree centigrade as at 27 degree centigrade so there are two temperature so in this temperature uh, it is living twice at many days uh, determine the activation energy for the reaction that controls the rate of its heartbeat. So here we have a temperature. So we can assume that that uh, let us assume that is so alga is living. Alga is uh, lives for lives for x heartbeats x heart beats lives for x heart beats. Uh, so therefore at temperature so at temperature. 27 degree centigrade so here if t time is there in x heartbeat so here t time is required for the x heartbeat okay so we require how much 2 time t so we require 2 time t for same number of heartbeats for same number of heartbeat at 70 centigrade so we can write equations that is you can use the logarithm equations so logarithm is time is here 2t and here time is t but number of heartbeat is same so we can write here log of x by t divided by here log of x by 2t and this will be equal to activation energy divided by so 2.303 into r and here our uh, temperature two temperature given so lower temperature minus higher temperature so here lower temperature is 280 minus divided by 300 centigrade so uh, access cancel so this will be, uh, you will get here log of value 2 and activation energy we need to find out so activation energy is uh, 2.303 2.303 and here 8.314 and this will be your uh, 20 divided by 280 into 300 so on solving we will get here activation energy will be your 24.2 kilo joule. so this is our answer at an altitude of 400 kilometer water boils at 87 degree centigrade and it takes uh, six that is your six minute it takes how much minutes six minutes uh, to cook an egg uh, which is otherwise cooked in just a uh, three minute this is three minute on ground level where the atmospheric pressure is one so determine that best energy the process in cooking the so we have uh, two different pressures so we can use directly here uh, log of pressure p2 by p1 is equal to activation energy by r and here temperature is 360 minus uh, 373 so we can solve it so le uh, log of 2 by 1 will be equal to we can use a 2.03 so here uh, pressure is uh, 2 by 1 and this will be activation energy with that we don't know uh, 2.303 so we can write here 8.314 
and here temperature is 360 minus 373 so this is given here so on solving here uh, if you get solve it you will get here 59.5 kilo joule so this is our answer for this question the half life of a first order chemical reaction is 60 hours uh, at 300 kelvins and uh, as temperature increased to 310 kelvin the half life become 40 hours so determine the half life of the same reaction at 350 kelvin so we have been given two so first we need to find out the activation energy for uh, it will be both for common for both of them so first uh, we know that that the half life is inversely proportional to rate constant because we have been given two temperature one is 300 kelvin one is 310 kelvin so for this one we have to find out first activation energy so for this 60 and 40 two hours is given so we have to utilize this one uh, natural log of uh, k2 by k1 that is k2 by k1 is equal to we can write it in terms of this one half life so half life they have given here so half life will be t half of first one and divided by t half of second one and this is equal to ea by r and temperature is given here uh, 1 by 300 minus 1 by 310 so on what will happen again on solving we will get a and half they have given here already so that is uh, natural log of 60 by 40 is equal to this is Ea by R and this will be your 1 by 9300 so again on solving so here we will get one equation that uh, what is that uh, natural log of 3 by 2 and this is equal to Ea divided by 9300 R so this is the equation number 1 now for we will take again second one that is the 350 case so this is the case one so again we will take case two so case two will be what uh, natural log of here we will use it t1 by 2 1 divided by t1 by 2 3 3 means 350 kelvin so this will be equal to ea by r again we have to take temperature how much so 300 to 1 350 so for 350 we need to find out so we know t half is 60 hours but we don't know this one so but we know ea by r so we can write here natural log this will be your 60 divided by t1 by 2 at 3 means uh, 350 kelvin and ea by r and this will be your answer uh, how much 2100 2100 so this is the equation number so this is equation number one this is equation number two so in this this ear e e or ea will be cancelled so on dividing we can write here so i'm just putting down here so dividing what uh, one by two two by one two by 1 so we will get equation i am writing the equation uh, natural log this uh, 60 by t 1 by 2 and this is your third reaction divided by uh, natural log 3 by 2 this was the equation and this is equal to 93 by 21 or we can write here 31 by 7 so now we can solve it so on solving how to solve uh, log of 60 divided by t 1 by 2 that is third equal to 31 by 7 so this is equal to log of 2 minus log of 3 minus log of 2 that is equal to log of 78 now uh, t half at 350 uh, kelvin will be how much 60 by 6 divided by this is equal to 10 hours so answer is 10 hours a reaction A to B is exothermic by 10 kJ per mole and has a rate constant uh, natural log K 30.46 minus 15,000 by RT. Now, if the uh, free energy, standard free energy for the reaction is minus 20 kJ per Kelvin per mole, so determine frequency factor for this reaction, reverse reaction. Reverse reaction means backward reaction. And you have to find out the Arrhenius equation for the reverse reaction at constant temperature 300 Kelvin for all calculation 
so we have to find the RNA sequence of reverse reaction also so here we have been given how much delta H given here so delta H is given here here our so 10 kilojoule okay so again we can write here so delta H is equal to EF minus EV that is nothing but the minus uh, 10,000 joule is given here so again uh, uh, backward action is given here again we can see here so what will be the backward reaction so we can write here EB is equal to EF plus 10,000 ok and again a forward action given here 15,000 so we can write here so 15,000 uh, plus 10,000 this will be equal to 25,000 that is the joule per mole again now we have to find out the next is the K equilibrium so now delta G standard is equal to uh, minus RT into natural log of K equilibrium uh, this is nothing but this is equal to delta H is minus T delta S so again delta H is minus 10,000 uh, T is given here 300 and minus 20 degree uh, so it, this is the entropy that is given here entropy minus 20 so on solving you will get here uh, 4000 joule now we can write this one uh, natural K equilibrium this will be equal to uh, KF by KB so K by KF is equal to how much uh, 4000 and divide by 300 into R so this is nothing but 1.6 so this we got that now we have to know uh, uh, KB is given here so we don't know the KB also so we have to find out KB so again uh, natural log KB is just here put here uh, natural log KB is equal to uh, KF minus 1.6 equal to 30.46 minus 15,000 divided by 8.314 into 300 this will be your again whole minus 1.6 so this is given over here kf is already given here here we can see this value so on solving you will get answer 22.84 so this is the uh, kb natural log of kb so already we got this value now second point uh, natural log KB is equal to natural log AB minus EB by RT this we know that so again natural log AB is how much this is given here uh, natural log AB will be equal to 22.84 plus 25,000 divided by 300 into 8.314 so this will give you 32.86 so AB will be equal to how much 1.8 into 10 to the power 14 per second so this we got the activation frequency factor now RNA's equation uh, for reverse reactions for reverse reaction will be how much so this re reverse reaction will be a uh, natural log of KB we need to find KB this will be equal to 32.86 minus 25,000 divided by R into T so this is the answer the presence of a catalyst provide a reaction pathway in which the activation energy of the certain reaction is reduced from 88 kilojoule per mole to 62 kilojoule per mole so by what factor the rate of reaction increases at 300 kelvin so we can write here natural log of k2 by k1 is equal to e1 minus e2 by r into t so this is the difference of the activation energy so we can write here the difference of activation energy is 88 minus 62 into 10 to the power 3 and divide by 8.314 and temperature is given here 300 kelvin so again we can write uh, k2 by k1 will be equal to how much 33.66 on solving so this is not, nothing uh, this is the uh, value of the factor so by which is the value factor by which rate increases so this is the our answer of this question 
a reaction rate increases by a factor of 500 in the presence of a catalyst at 37 degree centigrade the activation energy of the original pathway is 106 kilojoule per mole what is the activation energy of new pathway so we have to find the uh, path uh, activation energy of the new pathway so we will use the, again the logarithm formula uh, natural log of equal to k2 by k1 that is nothing but the natural log of 500 they have given here so this is the increases by the factor of 500 so this is the 500 already given so we can write here this is equal to e1 minus e2 divided by again r into t so e1 minus uh, e1 minus e2 is given here 106 uh, kilojoule for the original pathway so original pathway is the uh, 106 this is the thousand so minus e2 divided by so r is given 8.314 and temperature is given 310 so this value this value every value is given here so this implies that so second our our e2 will be this is the e2 is nothing but the catalyzed pathway new pathway will be your 89.98 kilojoule per mole or it is almost equal to 90 kilojoule per mole so this is our answer of this question